Welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about check numbers. I am your host. I am Kathleen Lawler. All right, let's start by looking at check numbers. First of all, they were taught over 500 years ago as part of learning arithmetic. So this is not a new concept. This is actually a very old and well-established concept that we've kind of forgotten along the way. It's a method to check answers, which I'm going to show you how to do this today here with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Sometimes it's called casting out nines, or digital roots, or check digits. So we're going to, I'm going to actually refer to it as casting out nines a little bit later, and you'll see why check numbers can have both, uh, can have multiple different names. All right, let me show you how this works. We're going to do a simple one here. 11 plus 24, you can very quickly see the answer is going to be 35. Now, let's look at the check numbers and how these can help us. If I start with 11, I'm going to add the digits. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. And then because this is a check number, so I don't get confused with my regular digits and my check digit, I'm going to put a parenthesis around it just to kind of help me, my, help me remember that it's my check number. All right, let's do the next one, 24. Add the two digits. 2 plus 4 is 6. And 35, 3 plus 5 is 8. Now, here's where it gets handy. If I do 2 plus 6, just looking at my check numbers, 2 plus 6 equals 8. It's a way to check our answer using simple digits, and we've got the right numbers. So 11 and 24 is 35. Let me show you first why it works. If I take that 11, what I'm actually doing is I'm dividing it by 9, or another way of looking at it is I'm dividing it by 9. 11 by 9 is 1 with the remainder of 2, which is my check digit. Let's look at 24. 24 divided by 9 is 2 with a remainder of 6, which of course is my check digit. 35 divided by 9 is 3, remainder 8. So this is why it works. Now, let's do another one. We're going to do 45 plus 73. Okay, we're going to use our regular arithmetic, add this up, our answer is going to be 118. Let's use the dividing because we've got something different going on here. So 45 divided by 9 is 5 with no remainder. So the check digit is actually going to be 0. Now if I do 4 plus 5, if I look at adding the digits again, 4 plus 5 equals 9, but all nines are the same thing as a zero. Let's do another one here. Let's do 73. Let's do it by dividing by 9. 73 divided by 9 is 8 with the remainder of 1. So my check digit is 1. Now let's do it by adding the digits. 7 plus 3 is 10. But what we're going to do here is now work because all check numbers are one digit. So I'm going to take the 1 plus the 0 and 10. So 7 plus 3 is 10. 7 plus 3 is 10. And then I'm taking the 1 and the 0 and 10. And that adds up to 1, which is my check digit right here. Okay, let's do 118. Let's add the digits. 1 plus 1 plus 8 is 10, which would also be known as 1. Check digit of 1. Now, remember I said they're also called casting out 9s? Well, look at this top one with 45. If I find the two things that, or the things that equal 9, 4 and 5 equal 9, so I'm going to cast out my 9s, I have what left? Nothing or zero. I can do the same thing down here. I can cast out my nines, one and eight, 
And what do I have left? A 1, which is my check digit. Okay, now we're going to go, we found all of our digits, now we're going to check to make sure we've got the right answer. So 1 plus 0 is 1. And I've got a right answer. So, some people have asked, why do we divide by nines? I mean, who, why, how come nines? Well, we could use any number. For example, if we were to use twos, that would just simply identify evens and odds. Not very productive. You could do it, but it's not as helpful as we'd like it to be. Nines are the easiest check number to find, and they will find the most errors. Therefore, nines are the simplest, quickest, and most productive option. We have a question here. Um, GC is asking, why would we want to do this? Very good question. Let me show you. Because we can use this for checking for errors. So, I have a problem here. I've got 5,635 plus 28. Using my traditional math skills, I come up with the answer of 5,663. Using my check numbers, I can see if this answer is correct, 5663. So what's my check number for the 5,635? Casting out nines leaves me with 5 and 5. 5 and 5 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. 28 would be 2 plus 8 is 10, which is also a check digit of 1. Let's look at our answer, 5,663. Casting out nines, I've got 5 plus 6, which is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2. And my check numbers match. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, answer your question. Let's say we had a wrong answer. Because how often are you usually, you're usually off by one digit when you, when you have an error in your calculations. So instead of our answer being 5663, I made an error. I didn't carry my 1. I came up with 5653. Five, Wrong answer. Let's see how check numbers will help us. Check number of the 5,635, we already figured out, was 1. Check number of 28 is 1. And let's figure the check number of this answer, 5653. Five, well, I can cast out my 9s, and I can see my check number would be, so I'd cast out these two. So I've got 5 and 5 make 10, 1 and 0 is 1. So now when I add these up, 1 plus 1 does not equal 1. So something is wrong here. Now, for myself, there's been times where I've made, a, I've made an error in my check numbers. Most of the time it's because I've made an error in my calculation. I know right now it seems like you're using a lot of extra math for something very simple, but once you get good at it, you can get really fast with this. And this is something that Dr. Cotter uses all the time. I don't use it as much as I should, but I do use it. So you can see how it's going to check my answer. I know there's something wrong here. Now, what if I made another wrong answer in here? Instead of the answer again, it's supposed to be 5663. I have 5654. So I've actually made two errors. Now look what happens here. I got my check numbers of 1 and 1. Check number of 5654 is. Anybody got it figured out yet? It'd be 2. I can do 5 and 5 make 10, which would be the same thing as a 1. This is another 10, which seems as 1. 1 and 1 is 2. Now here, it checks, but I still have a wrong answer. So using check numbers is not foolproof, but it'll find the majority of the errors. Because again, most people are off by one digit. Very rarely you off by two digits. So again, it's not 100% foolproof, but it'll find most of the errors. We can also use it for subtraction. 7,146 minus 3,207. Here's my answer, 3,939. Let's use our check numbers. So the check number for 7,146 
would be 0. This would be 8. 7 and 1 is 8. 4 and 6 is 10, which is 1. 8 and 1 is 9. 9 is 0. The next one, the check number would be find the things that equal 9 and cast them out. So this one's easy then. 2 and 7 make 9. So my check number is 3. Bottom, our answer, 3,939. What's our check number? 6. Now here, we're going to go reverse and do 6 plus 3 equals 9, which is the same thing as 0. I have a right answer. All right, let's go and see what this looks like for multiplication. 7,146 times 7, here's my answer, 50,022. Check numbers of 7,146 is 0. Check number of 7 is 7, that's pretty easy. Check number of my 50,022. So here I've got 5, 7, 9, 9 is 0, so my check number is 0. Now here, we're going to multiply the check numbers. So 0 times 7 is 0. Check. Let's do another one here. Let's do a little more complicated one. I've got 6,893 times 85. Okay, personally, if I'm not using a calculator, we're probably going to have some errors here just because it's, 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 you know, there's so many different numbers that you're working with. The answer is 5,000, excuse me, 585,905. Let's use our check numbers. So what's the check number of that top, eight, excuse me, 6,893? Here I've got a 9. These two would make a 9. So my answer is 8. What's the check number for 85? 8 and 5 is 13. 1 and 3 is Four. Check number for our answer. Cast out my 9. 5, 10, 15. 1 and 5 is 6. 6 and 8 is 14. 1 and 4 is 5. Now again, applying the same thing. I'm going to multiply my check numbers. 8 times 4 is 32. 3 plus 2 is 5. Check. Isn't that cool? Now, what you're going to find is some kids think this is the best thing they have ever heard of, and they're going to use this all the time. Other kids are going to go, uh, yeah, that's cool, but I don't want to do it. Okay, that's fine. Because the thing is, is what this gives the children is a tool to put in their toolbox. If they want to use the tool, they can use the tool. Now, if they don't want to use the tool, they can use something else. That's fine. But if we don't give them the tool, they'll never know they had an option of using it. That's why it's important to teach it. It gives the children options. Let's look at this with division. Here I've got 8,053 divided by 9. I'll give you the answer. It's 894 with a remainder of 7. So let's look for my check digits. So my check digit of 9 is... 9, which is 0. My check digit of 8,053 would be, well, here I'm adding these two up, 8 and 5, excuse me, 5 and 3 is 8, 8 and 8 is 16, 1 and 6 is 7. 894, what's that check digit? 3. And, of course, the check digit of 7 is 7. That's not too exciting. Now, the way we're going to check this is, like division, we're going to work backwards. So I'm going to take my divisor and multiply it by my answer. So 0 times 3 is 0 plus 7 is 7, which is what I have for my starting answer here. So I did this one right. Let's do one more for division. I've got 
6,247 divided by 51. Again, I'll give you the answer. So check digit of 51 is 6. Check digit of 6,247. Look for casting out those 9s. Actually, I don't see up. Oh, we're right here. We've got 7 and 2 makes 9. So I've got 6 and 10, or excuse me, 6 and 4, which is 10, which is a check digit of 1. 122, check digit would be 5. See how fast you can get good, you, how quickly you can get fast with these. And my check digit of 25 is 7. So again, applying kind of the reverse, I'm going to multiply my check digit 6 times the 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Now you could either say 30 plus 7 is 37, or you could say 30, 6 times, six times 5 is 30, which would be a check digit of 3, plus 7 is 10. Both come to the same answer, is 10, so that'd be a check digit of, let's add that together, is 37. 3 plus 7 is 10, which will give us a check digit of 1. And we got the right answer. That's check numbers. Check numbers is taught in the Right Start Math program in Level D and E. 2014, we were given the first place award from Mary Pride's Practical Homeschooling Reader Award and first place again in 2015. Keep an eye on the 2016 awards. We also got the Old Schoolhouse Excellence in Education as well as the, the Homeschoolers Parent Seal of Award for 2016. Math needs to be taught, so 95% is understood and only 5% memorized. And Dr. Cotter says our goal as teachers of mathematics is to help our children transform, expand, and refine these beginning ideas into deeper mathematical thinking. If you have any questions that come up at a later time, you're certainly welcome to call us at 888-272-3291, or you can email us at info at rightstartmath.com.